So maybe you've heard of the Trinity. What does it mean? What is it? Why do we talk about it? Is it found in the Bible? Do we worship one God? Do we worship three gods? What on earth do Christians mean by the Trinity? Well, my son, when he was seven, he said, Dad, who is Jesus praying to in the garden? I said, well, what do you mean? He said, well, Jesus is God, right? I said, yes. He said, the Father's God, right? I said, yes. He said, was Jesus praying to himself? And I thought, how on earth do you explain the Trinity to a seven-year-old? So the question is, what does the Bible really teach about the character of God? What does it mean when we say God is a Trinity? Well, the word Trinity comes from two words, tri and unity. Tri meaning three and unity meaning one. There's a oneness in the character of God, but there's also a distinction. So it's important to define the Trinity carefully because if we don't, it'll seem like we're worshiping one God and three gods or one person and three persons. Now, the moment we start to try to make sense of the Trinity, people say, well, wait a minute, the word Trinity isn't in the Bible. And that's true. But our theology shouldn't be based upon words. It should be based upon ideas. So why should we believe in the Trinity? The Bible teaches that there's one God. This is in the Old Testament, but it's also in the New Testament. There's one God. As Christians, we don't worship multiple gods. We believe in one God. But we also see that there's three persons, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, who are each divine. That means we see a distinction between Jesus and between the Father. So early Christians are looking at this going, wait a minute, there's one God, but there's three persons who share in this divine nature. How do we make sense of this? So they coined the term Trinity, actually it was coined by Tertullian in the early third century to capture what the Bible teaches about the character of God. You might be saying, wait a minute, this is a contradiction. This is why it's really important to define the Trinity carefully. The Bible teaches that there's one God and three persons. So the oneness is in terms of God nature. The distinction is in terms of the persons. Now, can we fully understand this? No, we can't. After all, we're talking about the character of God. I'll often ask my students to try to come up with an analogy for the Trinity. Some will say like an egg, it has the yellow, the white, and the shell. One student said, well, what about a three-leaf clover? I had a student one time say, oh, Mr. McDowell, I got it. A peanut M&M, the shell and the chocolate and the peanut. It's helpful to try to come up with things in nature where there's kind of a oneness, but there's also kind of a distinction. But we got to realize, every illustration is gonna fall short. Why? Because the character of God is unique and distinct from anything we see in the world. Mm -hmm.